when you fix your mind and ear to hear from him, he stabilizes your whole life. Satan's job is to get you shaky and to hear another voice because multiple voices bring multiple choices and multiple choices equals confusion and God is not the author of confusion. Luke 12 54 says and he said unto the people when ye see the cloud rise up out of the west straightway ye say there cometh a shower. Verse 55 when you see when you see the south wind blow ye say there will be heat and it comes to pass. You hypocrites you can discern the face of the sky of the earth but how is it that you can't discern this time? Churches have no idea of how late it is in the day. Jesus is coming. The signs are everywhere. Are you talking to me here? Now watch. Here's what happens. Simon's name means Shema. S-H-A-M-A-H. Shema. It means hearing. We told you that Leah in Genesis 29-33, Leah and Jacob had a son and she says there, and she conceived again and bare a son and said, this is Genesis 29-33, because the Lord has heard that I was hated he has given me this son also and I'm going to call him Simeon meaning the Lord heard my cry thank you Jesus thank you father that I wept and cried bitterly and you blessed me with something physical and lasting and that would love me and something that I can love and nourish and something that would leave my mark in the earth if you ever get to a place where you cry out to the Lord he'll it, secretly intimately invisibly so so to speak he if you if you pray secretly he that seeth in secret shall reward you openly if you have a little talk with Jesus he'll give you something to substantiate that I'm a cry away from you everyone that asketh receiver come talk to me son and I'll manifest something in your life that everybody would know it would have to have been out of the recesses of a relationship they will identify you couldn't do that that wasn't just intelligence that's beyond gift and ability that's anointing that's something God birthed in you that cannot be taken away from you when you sing power comes when you preach power comes when you walk in a room elements shift demons and frequencies start moving because you're walking in with the aura and the essence of God that if, if they receive you as a man of God you have the ability to speak peace in a house and it will reside there I want to walk in power I want to live like him look like him talk like him and if ever you've tasted and seen that the Lord is good if you've ever heard him one time he's better than crack when I was growing up in New York in the 80s crack was on the scene and they tell me that crack jumbo vials up in Harlem and places when you would put that crack in you people would go up in the building get high and 10 minutes later come down with Betamaxes and VCRs and mama's jewelry that they stole out of the purse and I marveled as I would sit there as they saw crack and they go up the building down the building up the building down the building and two hours go by and they finding money everywhere to satisfy high I said what's going on here they said they tell me that this crack it gives you an extreme rush and it gets you really high but it doesn't last long and they have to come back and keep trying to maintain that level of high and that's what the devil does he gets you to a certain level to make you keep thirsting and lusting for him to get something that you can never obtain but I'm telling you this Paul said that I count not myself to have apprehended he said I seek after that thing that apprehended me Paul said look y'all I counted all excellency for the knowledge of God the knowledge of Christ I counted all dung all of my accolades what are you doing I seek to apprehend that that I've been apprehended of explain it meaning he touched me and ran and said follow me and I'm in high gear trying to get this man that touched me because I ain't never had a touch like this I ain't never got high like this Hennessy can't do this Reefer can't do this sex can't do this it's euphoric it's utopia it's grande le grande it's better than sliced bread I can't find a touch like this nowhere a songwriter helped me by saying he touched me and oh the joy that floods my soul he touched me something happened and I'm no longer the 
the same. Has he touched anybody in here? Has he spoke to anybody in here? His voice is so powerful. It will arrest your present, your past and future. Once he talks to you, you'll stay locked in and seducing spirits will try to draw you. But if you can incline your ear to hear God, you'll be able to navigate through this barren land. Touch your ear and say, I want to 